everyone. It is November 3rd, 2017. I want to pass along a video that I hope all of you will circulate far and wide. A Plain Truth has posted an interview with a fire captain who worked the fires in California. And this fire captain is talking about directed energy weapons. He's talking about how unusual the fires were. Unusual were the winds. And he's speaking the truth. He was there. He's a fire captain. And if it were not for plain a plain truth, who clearly has the courage and clearly feels that the truth is really important to get out, he taking the time, he putting in, you know, the, the time and the effort to get this information out to us, if it weren't for him, we may never have heard from this fire captain. We're certainly not going to hear on mainstream media an interview with this fire captain talking about how strange it was, the leveling of all houses he had never seen before. So, you know, when people post videos like this, it really does take time and effort and courage. And it really is important to circulate the information. So please don't just watch videos that are really important. Please circulate them. Please share them. Over 100,000 people have lost their homes. All of the people who died, they deserve the truth. They deserve the truth and not, not the lies coming out of government officials who are talking about how these fires, well, it was a creation of, what did NASA say? Lightning strikes and wind and dry, the, uh, the dryness, the lack of humidity in the environment. No, these people were murdered. So, you know, I may sound dramatic. I'm not being dramatic. I absolutely do feel the truth is really important. And I do feel for the people who die. Like in 9-11, the firefighters. We've had so many firefighters come out and speak the truth, which is against the official narrative. Like this man, Rudy Dent, who retired after 9-11, but who had decades of experience as a firefighter. We love each other, and I'm dedicated to exposing this false flag that took their lives. Was this a conspiracy? Absolutely. Yes, it was. And those people need to go to jail for treason. The best way to honor the, the victims is to find out what really happened. And just to swallow what the government spoon feeds to us as an explanation, I don't think that's honoring the victims at all. I think they deserve justice, and whoever really did it deserves accountability. Do you so I also really appreciate these people who do have the courage to walk up to people, to ask them questions, knowing that these are the type of questions that could get the kind of response that is a shaming response, though it reflects the individual who is responding that way, but you still feel it. So this is one of the reasons why there's an awful lot of people who lack the courage because they're afraid of the response, and that's what they want. It is a silencing technique, and they use it because it is effective. Get people programmed just to call you a conspiracy theorist, to roll their eyes, to call you crazy. It works. And... Here, I will link below to all of the videos, but no more news. I believe his name is, oh, I want to say John Green, but I can't remember. Um, that's not fair, so let me bring you to the introduction. I don't want to get a copyright strike. I'm linking below to your video, so don't give me a copyright strike. For news, today is September 10th, 2016, and we're in San Diego, California at the Firefighter.
He, I'm Adam Green with no more. Adam news Green. Today. Okay. So here he is at this uh, uh, firefighter uh, run, I guess. I don't know. But he's interviewing firefighters and he's asking them about he's asking them about 9/11. And the responses are, you know, you think firefighters they have the courage to run into buildings that are on fire knowing that they could, that could be the end of their life. They have that kind of courage, but they don't have the courage to speak about 9-11. There's an awful lot of firefighters that don't have the courage, like this fire captain, who is going out on the record publicly to speak about how the California fires that have destroyed hundreds, a hundred thousand homes? He has the courage to speak about directed energy weapons. He has the courage to go against the official narrative, which is a lie. And there are firefighters who have the courage to speak about 9-11. There's, uh, there's firefighters for 9-11 firefighters for truth. Um, hundreds of firefighters. But when I see this, I feel so bad for these souls the soul inside these human beings who walk away or say things like, well, I haven't dug into it. You know, I haven't dug into the truth about 9-11 or no comment. Or I try not to acknowledge those conspiracy theories. And I wish that he had said conspiracy truth, conspiracy fact, or even just didn't even say conspiracy, but, um, talked about all of the very many anomalies that have not been investigated officially. So, um, yeah, scared into silence. And as they say, no balls to hear or speak the truth. So when I hear people speaking the truth, I really respect them. Here's another firefighters for 9-11 truth. They speak out. And like Richard said, my name is Eric Lawyer, and I founded the Firefighters for Knowledge and Truth after I watched Richard in one of his presentations, and I realized that something more had to be done. And I just want to thank Richard for everything he's doing here, and Firefighters for Knowledge and Truth strongly support Richard Gage and all the architects and engineers that have the courage to sign that petition. And I know from personal experience, there's about five times as many out there that believe what we believe but don't have the courage to sign it. So what I'm hoping today is that people will find the courage after listening to this presentation and seeing everybody here and seeing that we are behind it. <clears throat> we all Okay, courage. He speaks of the courage. You know, there are so many people who leave comments. Well, what are we supposed to do? What are we supposed to do? Find your courage. Find your courage like a plain truth. When things happen in your area, interview people who are involved in the events that are evidencing some kind of anomalies. Speak out. Don't be silenced. Don't get so scared that you can't speak the truth. Listen to these uh, two firefighters. What happened? There's an explosion. He's in the lobby and fucking just the third explosion, the whole lobby collapsed on us. Who's the light? Who's the light? Oh, it's like how the whole building just collapsed so, inside the lobby. Was that a secondary explosion? Yes, it was. That was it. Yeah, yeah, definitely a secondary explosion. We was inside waiting to go upstairs. And on the way upstairs, the whole fucking thing blew. And it just, it just collapsed the people right inside the lobby. Did you look at the first tower coming down the second day? I don't know about the first one, but I know the second one. It was terrible. Then there was a third one, too, after that one. <laughs> that's that's that. Everybody was inside the building. They waited to go upstairs. And they, they, just, they just let loose. Everything just let loose inside the building. Uh, what, what you told me is that there was flaming or whatever hit the building. Then the second day, it was like three explosions after that. We came in after the, after the fire. We came when the fire was going on already. Okay, so I just want to say to Judy Wood, who has discounted all of the firefighters, the police, and uh, just uh, 
residents of New York City who have heard those explosions. Remember the day of 9-11, mainstream media reporting, the reporters reporting, hearing explosions. And then the day after 9-11, all of that footage was scrapped. Scrapped. You didn't hear it on mainstream media anymore. So for people like Judy Wood to be arguing that Richard Gage is a disinformation agent putting out information that is not the truth to discredit her evidence of the directed energy use on 9-11, my saying both, it is absolutely possible that both occurred. And then I getting, you know, into it with people when I say both could have occurred and everybody seeming to be just on one side or the other, that kind of uh, behavior needs to be resolved in the individual so they don't keep fighting with one another. Um, you know, when, when people ask, well, what are we supposed to do? When you realize that individuals are really um, behaving in ways that create problems, they have to work that kind of stuff out. They have to raise their consciousness above the personality, above the ego. They have to stop, you know, wanting to be right. They have to stop um, protecting personalities <clears throat> and zero in on the truth. It's an individual process. Individuals absolutely have to do the work to raise their consciousness, to get out of protecting their egos, to get out of protecting personalities and put truth first always. And when you do have a love of truth, when it's genuine, that then instills a courage in you because you're not about yourself and you're not about protecting somebody else. You're about the truth. And you can actually have a sense that there are greater things above your own self, that you stand for something greater and you can die for it as well. And when you get to that point, you can't stop. You just, you're, you're, you're literally compelled to act. You can't be one of the good people sitting around doing nothing, which is the main ingredient for evil to flourish. So here's another firefighter. You can listen to him. But of course, these firefighters talking on the day of 9 11. We made it outside. We made it about a block. We made it at least two blocks. And we saw it in North. Four by four. It's going to pop out. It was it, 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 you know, I am not posting these videos to prove that that explosions did occur. I'm not posting these videos to prove uh, and to side with Richard Gage, because I do believe that both happened. Both explosions, a controlled demolition, along with directed energy weapons. I am posting these videos because what these firefighters are saying goes against the official narrative. So for Americans to believe their mainstream media at this point is sickening, it's revolting, because we have been lied to over and over and over. Lies. My entire life living in this country. And everybody should be absolutely outraged by the lies. And sorry for the moped.
Oh, those mopeds. Yes, I have mopeds. Everybody should be speaking out. Everybody should be yelling. Everybody. Do you understand that 100,000 people lost their homes? Do you get that? Then think about Houston. Then think about Florida. Then think about Puerto Rico. Then think about all of the other man-made weather events that have occurred throughout the years with all of those people losing their towns, losing their homes, losing their livelihood. Do you know how many victims in this war we have already accumulated? We are at war. You need to find the courage to become, well, a soldier in this war. If you're sitting back, sitting back, doing nothing, not even sharing videos that are really, really important, then you become the enemy. And I want to thank A Plain Truth. Thank you so much for providing the information that all of us need. Thank you for your courage. Thank you, Fire Captain, for speaking out. And I just hope that everyone who watches this video uses as a power of example this Fire Captain and a plain truth. And that everybody can begin to be like an active warrior for the truth. Just writing comments saying, you know, uh, don't, people ask me, don't I understand it's a spiritual war? Of course I understand it's a spiritual war. Of course I understand this is a war between good and evil, and evil is winning. How many times have I said that in videos? Yes, I absolutely understand. So when you're at war, you need to be a soldier in that war. And you need to stand against freedom, uh, against, against freedom, Jesus, no, against evil, and for freedom, for good, for the truth.